Okay, so for every problem, you're gonna look at it first and kind of determine whether it's a solid or dotted line. And then after we get the line drawn, we're gonna say, okay, well, do we shade above or below? And that's the gist for every single problem. Okay, there's no more like a uh, solid or uh, an open or closed out, I'm sorry. Um, okay, but there is a like shade uh, above or below and if whether it's a solid or dotted. Okay, now, when we graph these, um, we have graphed these forms before, but they get graphed like this, okay? This is the form. Okay, and if you have all these notes, in particular these two on your paper, you should be totally fine. Um, so we have graphed stuff before. It always goes in this form, y equals mx plus b. Okay, notice the number on the very end of each equation. That's going to be your y-intercept. Okay, and we have to graph this first. Okay, the M, okay, is our slope. Hey, my camera's off, so I don't. I don't care. Okay, our slope, and that's going to be our rise over a run. Okay, um, so, uh, and then the only part, other part, okay, is, is that a positive line or a negative line? Positive. That one is a positive line, and this is a negative line. Okay, so, if we look at number one, okay, we're going to graph the y-intercept first. What is the y-intercept? The, um, what is my y-intercept? Sorry, negative 2. Negative 2. Okay, so again, see how this says y? You're going to go to the y-line and go down until you find a negative 2. Okay, which is right here. Okay, we're going to put our dots. Now, my slope is what? What is my slope? Uh, three over two. Three over two. Okay, so we're going to rise three and run two. So from this dot, though, okay, so we're going to go up three, one, two, three, and over two, one, two. Okay, so your other dot should be right here. Okay, again. From that dot, okay, you can go up three, so keep counting, one, two, three, and over two. Okay, see how you're getting a nice kind of rough picture of a line just with the dots alone, okay? Now, um, and I don't, I would say, well, you definitely need to make at least two dots, okay? But on the ones that you can make three, make three, okay? Um, is this line, so we're going to start here in this, this first box. Is this line solid or dotted? Solid. It's going to be a solid line, so we're going to make it a solid line. Okay, and then we're looking at this, okay? If you look at this, and you're going to match that picture here, okay, are we going to shade above or below? Above. Above. Okay, so you're shading above this line. Are you very stingy about how we shade it? Right. I should be able to count. Yeah, no, my last, last teacher, my last teacher is like, Okay, but I'm not them, and but I'm just saying I should be able to tell it to. We'll yeah, say that. Yeah, well, I shouldn't have to say like shave every stroke, but if you're just is that actually like okay? So use some common sense. I should be able to tell that it's shaved, which is what I'll say. Okay, number three. Hey, this is what I'll be talking about. He don't be doing this when you're not here. Okay. Look at uh, number three. What is the 
y intercept, where are we going to start that graph at? Two. Okay, so go to the y line and find the two. Okay, what is the slope? Three over four. So we're going to go up three and over four. One, two, three, over four. Okay, on the flip side of that, I could go down three and over four. Down three and over four. Okay, you could still do that. Okay, we can go down three. One, two, three, over four. Okay, look at your notes. Should this line be solid or dotted? Solid. Should be a solid or dotted line. <laughs> Okay, again, I should be able to tell that line is dotted, yes? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Are we going to shade above or below? <coughs> above. Above. Or or below. Sorry, I was looking at four. We're shading above. What? Uh, the solid below. Is the solid below? You didn't write down the notes, so now you're going to have to wait and go back and do it. Okay, look at number five. Where does this graph start? Negative five. So go to the Y line and find the negative five. What is the slope? Negative two. Okay, now uh, we go rise two and run one. Okay, so it's really two over one because there's nothing on the bottom of that. Okay, so um, it so there's really a magic one right here. So we're gonna go up two, one two, and I need a negative line. So which way am I gonna go over one? Left. To the left. Okay, so we're gonna go up two over one. Okay, again up two, one two over one. Me down, dot for dot, count them, find them on the thing, and you'll be totally fine. Okay, is this line going to be solid or dotted? It is going to be a solid line. Okay, take a second for yourself. Look at this symbol. Take a second, figure out, don't say it out loud, which one is it? Is it going to be shaded above or below? Okay, just think in your head. Okay, and what is it going to be? Above. It is going to be above. Okay, seven. Where does it start at? Negative two. Negative two. We're gonna to go to the Y line, because it's where it says Y, and we're gonna go down to negative two. What is the slope? Five over what? One. one. Okay, so we're gonna go up five. So count up five, and then count over one. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna to go to the left one because we need a negative one. <laughs> Is this gonna be a solid or dotted line? Dotted. dotted line. Find it, match it up. Is it going to be above or below? Okay, 
Okay, is it a shade above or below? Above. Okay, number nine, where does this graph start? Yeah. At one, so go to the Y line and find the one. What is the slope? One, okay, and it's negative one. Okay, so really it looks like this. This is really negative one over one X. Okay, so we're gonna go up one and over one, which way? I need a negative one to the left. Okay, so we're gonna go up one and over one. Okay, up one and over one. I did it like going down first. That's fine. Okay, should this line be solid or dotted? Solid. solid line. Dang, I missed my dots. Okay, find that symbol, match it up. Okay, are we going to shade above or below? Above. Okay, you guys have five to do. Go through and get your five done, and then you're done for today.